Hi, I'm Dr. Brandon Diaz, and we are here in the most excellent of arcades, the Galloping Ghost Arcade in Brookfield, Illinois. And I'm here to show you some simple ways that you can repair your video games. If you have a game that has graphical issues or audio issues, a simple chip receipt might solve the problem. Resetting the chip is very easy and it's something that you can do yourself. Uh, Kick here has a graphical issue where the balloons don't display right during gameplay and the title screen has some glitches on it. So I'm going to show you an easy way and the right tools that you'll need to do a proper chip receipt yourself. So here we are in the office and we're going to start by reseating some chips on this board. Uh, what we suggest using is a Model G2 staple remover, as you can see here. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description of the video to this uh, particular staple remover. It works very well because the width of the tip is pretty much the exact width of the bottom of the chip that we are dealing with. Uh, you could also use a flat-headed screwdriver, but you have to be careful that you don't scratch the board. Uh, it's not as safe as something like this. This is really light and the perfect thing to use. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll take our staple remover or screwdriver and figure out which one of these chips that we need to reseat. Uh, you can reseat all of them. It's fairly easy to do, so if you're in there you might as well reseat all of them anyway. So the first thing we'll do is you ease the staple remover underneath the chip and lift it up just a little bit. Uh, there will be a slight cracking noise as the chips probably haven't been moved in decades. Uh, and then we'll go on to the next one. So what we're doing here is we are trying to establish a new fresh connection between the chip seats that are soldered to the PCB board and the chips themselves. Over time, the chips kind of oxidize and get stuck uh, in there, and the oxidization makes a bad connection. The, these chips, just on this end here, are raised. The other side are not. Uh, we don't have to do much more than this uh, for, for lifting them up. So the next step will be to press them back down. So we will just simply press them back down, back into the seat. What you can do is press down the second side as well. Uh, that way you will ensure that there is a solid connection. There's another set of chips on this board, uh, smaller chips on this side. You could actually see it in the video pretty well that uh, how shiny these are. And this chip here is pretty, pretty dirty. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna reseat this one also. In the cases where the chips are very dirty, you can actually remove them completely to clean them better. But we're going to take this chip out completely, and you will see how thin these legs are. They are very easy to break. Fortunately, the bottom of these legs are not very oxidized, so that's not too bad. So. What you can do, and what I have on the back of my staple remover, is I have a small piece of sandpaper, and you can simply just run it down the legs very lightly. You don't want to do too much because you don't want to risk the legs bending. So this chip has to go back in now, and what is very important is that it goes back in the same way that we took it out. Fortunately, this chip has both sets of tricks to remind you which way you took this chip out. Towards my fingers, there's a little notch and a little dot. Some chips just have the notch, some chips have the dot. They're only on the one side, not on this side. You can check out the rest of the chips on this board. They're all facing the same direction. All the notches are to my left. So that's how I'm gonna put this back in and slowly ease it in to make sure that all of the legs are going where they need to go because they're very, very fragile. Do not bend the legs because they will eventually break. 
So that's pretty much it with this board. All the chips have been reseated and that one has been taken out and cleaned a little bit. So were this board to have a graphical issue, that probably would be cleared up now. So if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.